What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG, and I'm bringing you what's on my iPhone in 2020. Basically, my iPhone setup, how I walk around my iPhone, what it's looking like, and what's on it. So we're going to start with what's on it. So you can see I got that Urban Armor Gear Monarch case. It's just a dope case, and I got Urban Armor Gear products on my Apple Watch Series 5. So this is mostly what I stick with. It's the Monarch, and as you can see, it's got the uh, carbon fiber inserts and the real talks and some good uag branding looking very dope it's a very protective case a little uh it's not very minimal and it does have some bulk to it a little thickness but the iphone itself the 11 pro max has some thickness to it so it's cool um basically on my wallpaper i'm keeping the stock as you can see i got the moon i like the black background with the white contrast basically um, I keep it very stock on this iPhone because really it, wallpapers on an iPhone really don't matter to me as much because you can't, I mean, you basically open your phone to an app drawer anyway. So that's it. Got the moon and this will be my wallpaper in the device also and on my live screen. Let's go ahead and open my iPhone and boom, that goes with that uh, face ID working good. So I have one page. I have successfully sorted my iPhone down to one page. As you can see um, to the left, I do have the news, um, the weather widget, Telegram, some Google stuff, YouTube music, Apple TV. Right now my phone is in airplane mode um, and also was trending on Google. So that's how we doing that. Um, just very, you know, very just the stuff that's important. Uh, this device is not the fun device to me, more so the productivity device. So it's going, it's not a lot of games on here. It's just not a lot of extra apps. It's broken down into, you know, some productivity things, some social media things of that. So let's just get into it. I'm not going to really go into the apps and because they mostly basically all the apps y'all know. But as you can see, I got the one draw format. Um, on my dock, I have the phone, I have my uh, iMessage, and I have Google Chrome and the Gmail app. So I've kind of converted from Safari to Chrome on here. That's what I use on here, Google Chrome and my Gmail. I'm an uh, Android-based guy most of the times. So when I do get an iPhone, I download all Google apps to it, you know, and put as much Google as I can on my iPhone. And um, we're just going to start off like this. The first draw, of course, is a social media uh, type draw, messenger type uh, uh, draw right here. Let me see. Open it up. You got my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can follow me, BG underscore Tech Life. Uh, the messenger app, voice. I use voice so I can um, I use a lot of different phones and stuff like that. But at least I have one number that's the same on all phones. So it was kind of like, give me like a consistent number at times. Um, Hangouts, Telegram. Uh, Telegram is like for group chat, stuff like that. That shout out to Team 100, the Team 100 uh, VIP chat over on Telegram. That's what I rock with over on there. Cause you know, those my folks that uh, check Team 100 out on Friday nights. Big shout out to everybody that came through uh, Friday night at 10 p.m was a good look. So hit me up if you want to join Team 100 VIP. So we kind of recap and, you know, chat it up about tech. I got Anchor. I kind of want to get these two apps, Anchor and Discord, trying to get into the podcast thing or possibly starting a podcast. So I'm just experimenting with those for right now. Um, WhatsApp, just another app that I use to, uh, to for the group of guys that I, you know, I, ch I chop it up with. Oh, about different things in the Facebook fan, uh, the Facebook page, the control, I guess, like your fan page. I really don't use that. I downloaded it, but I'm mostly when I'm dealing with my uh, BG Tech Life Facebook page, and you can check me out on Facebook BG Tech Life. Um, I'm on my computer, uh, updating that and responding to messages on that. Um, okay, so my next, my next uh, group of apps would be photo and video, um, Snapseed. Google Photos. I don't know why I really downloaded Google Photos because I really don't use it on my iPhone. I got layout. That's for Instagram when you want to make a certain type of layout for uh, like when you want to make, you know, put some pictures together on Instagram. 
iMovie. I don't use iMovie. LumaFusion is everything to me on my Apple products. That's probably one of the best things about Apple products to me, using LumaFusion and creating videos. Some of my videos I even edit on this iPhone itself because LumaFusion is just that good. And the Apple Photos app. So, you know, self-explanatory. But if you guys, it's $19.99 on, uh, on Apple. You got to pay for the app. It's $19.99. But this is a really good app, guys. If you got a new iPhone or iPad Pro, you can really get some editing done, some 4K editing, some 4K 60 editing. You can get some clean videos. If you're not, you know, if you don't have that top tier MacBook Pro, or you don't have a, a, a souped up, you know, PC, and you want to edit some videos, $20 in the iPad Pro, or just, you know, a fairly new iPad, and you can put you some nice videos together with LumaFusion. Um, and then, of course, I got my Google Drawer. Um, you know, of course, Google Drive, YouTube, my YouTube studio, where I check my analytics, YouTube music, uh, maps, of course. I don't use uh, the Apple application for uh, navigation. It's been, it was trash a long time ago, and I never tried it again. Um, Google Home for like my Chromecast, stuff like that. AdSense, you know, that has to do with my YouTube. Google Calendar and Google Earth. I don't know why I down. Well, I got Google Earth. I don't use it. I don't know why. I just want to get as much Google on, uh, I guess, uh, Apple device as possible and shopping and money. Of course, we got Amazon. That's what I between Amazon the best by spending a lot of money. DXL, you a big and tall guy. That's where you can get you some nice clothes. Polo, of course. Polo has nice big and tall clothes. So I shop there too. Um, you know, USAA, car insurance stuff. Cash app, do you already know what that is? You know, bet big money on it and you know, pay people for services, things of that nature. Um, cash app is you know, and send money to family and stuff like that. So that's kind of dope. Um, Nike just to see what the releases is, Sun Trust for banking, offer up for buying and selling things. You know, I, I like to buy and sell things and buy and things of that nature. Um, Papa John's, Car Max. Um, you know, I shop at CarMax when I go buy cars and stuff. I like to see what they have and what it's going for. If I want to possibly go, you know, check out some what, what CarMax got on the market. If I want to go buy a new vehicle or not a new vehicle, a new to me vehicle. Um, Papa John's and Starbucks. You know what Starbucks is. You see me posting uh, that good mocha. So that's basically a lot of the stuff. I got an Apple uh, group of apps. There's the Apple Store basic stuff, iTunes apps. I just do all this stuff in one folder because, you know, there's a lot of the stuff I don't use. I don't use the Apple Store. I use the App Store, you know, Apple Health. I, I, I do some tracking with my watch and things of that nature. That's very dope. Apple's really good with that tracking with the watch. Um, Apple TV, have opened that one time, haven't really looked at that. The news, um, I look at some articles from the widget when I see articles that I may want to read and, and see what's going on in the world. I definitely check that out, but I never really come to the app. I just see them on my uh, widget screen or whatever. Google Wallet, of course, Apple Pay everywhere. Like I said, I don't use Maps. I don't use uh, Apple Music and Skate City. I play a little Skate City. That's the game I've been uh, playing on my iPhone. You know what I mean? And then Utilities. This is all Apple stuff, voice memo, compass, measure, come the basics, and I wanted to put them all in one folder. And I got my, uh, I've got a desk lamp with a light bulb in it that controls the color and temperature of the light bulb. This app right here, this uh, North Connector app for my light bulb or whatever. But there, that's just the utilities, basic app utilities and functions, files, my iWatch, my activity, stuff like that. And um, basically, all we have left on here is Prime Video. I check Prime Video every now and again, but mostly not on my iPhone. Um, the clock, the weather, reminders, contacts, all this stuff is pretty simple. I keep uh, Fox 5 DC, local news, you know, I can watch that live on my iPhone without cutting on the TV sometimes in the morning. Um, Zedge, they have a lot of dope wallpapers. I haven't got any wallpapers from them for my iPhone, but on my Android phones, I use Edge Heavy. Um, Lose It is a tracking app. They got a lot of, if you're trying to count your calories, they're good. They got most, like, you know, everything that I've ever ate, 
they've had in this app. So you can count your calories when you're trying to cut back, lose weight. Um, you can really, you know, have a target of how many calories you want to eat. And you can log everything that you eat. And it works with the iWatch to track your steps and see how many calories you burn throughout the day. So it breaks it down to a science. Um, the NFL app, when I want to watch live football, I'm a Verizon customer. I can watch live football. And then the textgram quotes, I can, if I want to make a quote or something like that, or I want to post something on Instagram and make a quote, it gives me a little nice little box to uh, type in and make it, you know, make my little textgram or whatever. You you already know what it is, just like in the uh, app picture right here. But yeah, really, my iPhone, my, iPhone, my 11 Pro Max is really simple and productive. Um, this phone really just keeps me informed and does a lot of the production work on my YouTube channel. So it's not a lot outside of that on this phone. This would be considered, you know, a boring iPhone. But at the same time, most iPhones are boring to me anyway. They're good phones, but they are very boring just because of the layout and some of the things about them and how really your home screen is basically just widgets. So it's a very good phone. And this is how I set it up because I keep it productive. You know what I mean? I'm That's just me my use for an iphone i'm also an android guy but i love using my iphone like i said for productivity and things of that nature so yeah man it's your boy bg um this is what's on my iphone 11 pro max right now in 2020 um if you got any suggestions man hit me up or anything that you think i could use any games or things of that nature right now i'm straight luma fusion or I'm updating my social media with pictures that I done took and edited on this device. Things of that nature. Um, Shaman BG, thanks for watching. If you watch, like the video. Um, if you even more interested, go ahead and subscribe. Shaman BG Tech Life. Peace. I'm out. <music>